Turner Battlestick. Um, here from the UPRGB. Um, what, um, what we decided to do is we came completely unprepared. Uh, we had nothing. All we had was Android Studio and a bunch of SDKs. So we drew upon experiences and inspiration for our app. So what we're going to be building was a, an app that combines fitness and gamer. Now you might be wondering, why would I suggest to be a fitness app? Well, that's because I grew up with my mother telling me to get outside and stop playing video games. So, what we did is we developed BattleFit. It's a, it's a way to merge fitness and gaming. So, what, after a user goes ahead and signs up for the game, we go ahead and just, I hear the count. He goes ahead and signs up with the, his email, and he's prompted to go ahead and create a character. Now we went ahead and, and provided two different character models, a female or a male. A male can be a female, and a female can be a male. That is completely up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go with male. So once the, the user creates a character, he's able to create himself in a virtual world. He then will put his date of birth, his height, his weight, and his character will mold to him, to his uh, specific uh, standard. This is the only stage where you're gonna be able to do it manually. Once you, you input all that information, the uh, the character won't be able to change. It. I mean, you won't be able to change it. The character will be the one who will be changing and adapting to the new data that's gonna be received. So anybody who plays, I don't know, Battlefield knows that all the premium players just pretty much pay to win. That doesn't fly here. You have to work to get your character to get strong. So what you can do is when you go ahead and Log into the app, you can go ahead and enter what we call the barracks, which is where you get your your Fitbit. And if you don't have a Fitbit, you can just use the accelerometer on your phone and it detects how many steps you take. These many steps uh, go ahead and, and level up your character as you go along. As you walk around, if I randomly, you'll go ahead and pick up uh, items, you'll go ahead and pick up armor, anything to help level up your, your character. A now, person, in average, a person loses one pound every 70,000 steps. So your character loses a pound every 70,000 steps. Um, every, and that is, your character loses weight with you, so you're not alone. Um, <laughs> so also, you can see your, your character going like slim and you get motivated and you keep going. So even if you're not losing weight, he is. <laughs> <laughs> we also added a multiplayer function, so when you're, anybody who's played Pokemon, you know those annoying trainers? Yeah, we brought that back. As you're walking or running or doing your thing, you can go ahead and you're battle with people as you walk by. Your phone will let you know, hey, this person has a game, you have the game, why don't you just fight? <laughs> so with this, we decided this would be a perfect way to merge gamers and non-gamers, and anybody can do it when they ask you, do you have everything you need to set up? I have my phone with the app. That's all we did. And that's what we wanted. We wanted to be simple and effective. And your character better be in shape in order to win their number. Because they, they might have better items than you, so you guys better work out. Woo!